what is going on this is going to be another Bluetooth tutorial in this tutorial I'm finally going to show you guys how to send and receive Bluetooth data so I'm going to build a chat application that sends data to another device that has the same chat application installed in it I'm going to be in case you're curious I'm going to be loosely following uh, Android. this Android developer Bluetooth example here so I went to Android developer uh, click on a related sample over here and go to their github page and type Bluetooth chat and so this I'm gonna be kind of loosely following not really I think it's more complicated than it needs to be it's got a lot of features that aren't really necessary and I'm just gonna do like a general general Bluetooth uh, communication tutorial so the first thing we want to do is we want to add all of our dependencies right away just in case we forget that way I know they're all in here right off the bat so there's everything you need for this application to work correctly for the manifest so we can close that now next we're gonna create our Bluetooth connection service class So Bluetooth connection service and you can see here I think that's what they call it yeah, or they call it Bluetooth chat service. Well, I'm going to call mine Bluetooth connection service. Debugging tag. So the first thing we need to do is give our chat chat uh, service a name, and I'm just going to call it my app. Next, we're going to need to create a UUID variable. Um, if you want to know more about UUIDs, just Google it. I don't want to get into it in this tutorial. I want to keep it as short as possible. But basically, it's like an address that devices use to connect to one another. So there's a UUID. If you're wondering how I got this UUID, I just grabbed the one that they use here for an insecure connection. It's sort of a randomly generated number, sort of, but there is like patterns to certain UUIDs. But like I said, if you want to learn more about that, just Google it because I'm not going to talk about it too much here. Next thing we need to do is create our Bluetooth adapter, which handles a lot of our Bluetooth objects and Bluetooth commands and of course the context. Next we can import our constructor, highlight both of these. Oops. So there's our default constructor. Uh, actually we don't need the Bluetooth adapter here. Let's get the default adapter and now we're going to create the first class inside of our first class first thread sorry inside of our class and if you follow this it's going to be the accept thread right here so this is the thread that basically is going to be sitting there at all times waiting for a connection so I created another variable here called insecure accept thread because we're going to be doing an insecure connection I'm actually going to throw it up here and our accept thread class so the accept thread class is going to run on another thread so it doesn't use up the main resources on the main activity thread and so basically the accept thread it you initiate this and it sits there and it waits for a connection waits for something to try and connect to it so for this thread we just need a bluetooth server socket and we need to create our accept thread constructor and declare the uh, server socket server socket Whoops. so now we're going to create a, li a new listening server socket and it's going to be an rfcom server socket so tmp equals bluetooth adapter dot listen using it service record and we threw it this is where we pass our app name which I declared up here and we pass our UUID so now this sets up our socket that uh, other devices can connect to with the app name and the UUID so I'm just going to log a short message here saying uh, setting up the server using the UUID that I specified and if we look at here we have an, unex or an unhandled IO exception so let's surround it and try catch. Oh shoot, I goofed here. This is actually going to be a uh, Bluetooth server socket temp equals null. There we go. Uh, that goes away. And then outside of here, we have our server socket 
Okay, so this is going to, yeah, like I said, set up our listening server socket. Next, we need our uh, run method and log it. And we need to create another Bluetooth server socket, or sorry, a Bluetooth socket this time, not a server socket. And we need to create a Bluetooth socket this time, not a server socket inside the run method. So now we're going to start our socket. And it's going to, it's going to, the accept thread will basically just hang here until something connects to it. So here I wrote, this is a blocking call and it will only return on successful connection or if an exception is thrown. So we just go socket equals and server socket dot accept. So this basically your your code will sit here and wait until a connection is made or or a connection fails. And you can see there's an uncaught exception there, so oh I forgot to log this up here too. And if the connection is successful, we want a message that says the connection was successful or a connection was made. So that's what we're going to put this right here. So basically, if you'll see in the code that when it starts, it'll say rfcom server socket start, but it will just sit here. It won't advance to this line until a connection is actually made. Next, we want to test if the socket is null, because if the socket is null, that means uh, we want to move on to the next step. So we're going to create a method here called connected. We're going to pass the socket and the Bluetooth device. But um, I'm going to talk about this in the third video that I'm going to do. It's going to take it's going to take me four videos in case I didn't specify at the beginning to get through this whole app. Uh, I want to keep them each each one short. So then we're going to end the accept thread. And I'm going to write a short method here for canceling the thread if I need to cancel it. And the cancel method will just basically close the server socket. That's that's all it's going to do if I cancel it. So there we go. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like I said, I want to keep each one of these nice and short. Um, it's going to be a total of four videos because if we uh, if we look at here, one piece is the accept thread. Another piece is the con should be a connect thread also connect thread and also and then a connected thread which maintains the bluetooth connection so and then I'll, the last one I'm going to kind of piece it all together and give a little demo so uh, if you are interested in learning how to send and communicate using bluetooth then uh, keep watching and um, if you haven't already subscribed and you find these videos helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button I appreciate all your likes and your comments and I'll see you in the next video